seen a 1,000% increase in occurrences. Some may think it's a harmless prank, but as local pilots told SNN's John Woodruff, shining a laser pointer at a plane can have serious consequences. John. Laser pointer like this one that you would use giving a PowerPoint presentation can temporarily blind a pilot, which can distract them during critical moments in flight. It's such a problem, it's gained the attention of the FBI. As a major airline pilot flying around the nation, I have seen uh, lasers come into the cockpit on a few occasions. Just last week, flying into Los Angeles International, airline captain Greg Lewis and his co-pilot saw a green light shining into the cockpit from the ground. We were both uh, interested and taken back by it. The light was a laser from the type of pointer you can buy at any office supply store. While the light was only a distraction for Lewis, Fellow Cirrus aviation instructor David Armbust says it could have been much worse. Well, it's almost like a flash bulb going off. Uh, momentarily, we are not able to see instruments. We're not able to see out the uh, cockpit windows at all. While a red laser could enter the cockpit like this and cause a distraction for the pilot, the real risk is with green lasers. Our eyes are much more sensitive to that part of the color spectrum, especially at night. Our eyes have adapted to the nighttime conditions, and that uh, green light is uh, totally blinding. We went from uh, uh, two laser incidents the prior 12 months to 16 in the last 12 months. Sarasota Bradenton International Airport President Rick Piccolo says lasers become an issue as flights come in for landing. On the final approach they're making most of the time a, a visual approach to the to the airport so uh, they're, they're relying on their sight 100 percent. And while there hasn't been an accident yet, pilots say it's a growing possibility. An airport officials say if you see someone trying to shine a laser at a plane, contact the police department. Seriously, is the FBI taking this, John? Pretty serious, Amber. They are offering up to a $10,000 reward on any information that leads to an arrest, and offenders could face five years in prison and a $250,000 fine. All right, thanks, John.